Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Bessie Beneath. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to Bessie Beneath. I do apologize. Whew, this last weekend and the last few days have been very crazy for me. Lots going on. I have had zero time to do anything on YouTube or any farming simulator. So I am finally getting caught back up on the map tours. I know this came out on the 31st and this video is not going to come out until the 4th of August. So several days late. I do apologize. I'm sure there's tons of them already out there, but I'll still do my little taste of one anyhow. But uh, so in the mod hub, this is Bessie Beneath. Welcome to Bessie Beneath, real life area in Cornwall, UK. Eight farms, two sheep, one pig, one horse, two cow, one arable, and a contractor's yard, like the sound of that. Custom crop textures, animals, yards are built into the map. Multiple cell points, 98 fields ranging from large to small, uh, grass and arable. Uh, small forest, BGA, realistic DM terrain. Auction David's lighting adjustment, seasons ready, manure mod ready. So we're not going to take a look at snow on this map since it is seasons ready, and that's nice that it's manure mod ready as well. This is currently for PC and Mac players only. This map is by Dusty Dave, all one word, and it is 302.98 megabytes. So a wonderful map. Um, we're going to take a look. I've just read what I've seen in the mod hub and looked at pictures on there, but it does look like quite the map. We're going to go ahead and hop into the menu here. First, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn auto save off before it makes me angry. <laughs> Turn that down there. Moving across, we do have contracts, decent contracts, looks like too. So, um, fantastic there. Um, we'll go into here. We start off with $100,000 in new pharma, which is where I do my map tours. We have no starting loans. We have tons of equipment. We'll go over all that in a second. Oh, my printer's deciding to do some weird things. Sorry if you hear anything in the background. Um, we're going in here, we have plenty of stuff. Texaco Garage, that's a nice brand there. Anyhow, we'll take a look at that stuff as we tour around the map. So, Coming into here, we are over here, and yeah, it's not super huge, but there's a lot going on on this map. Well, maybe I shouldn't say it's not super huge. It doesn't look super huge or spread out on here. Oh, I don't have cell points on. There we go. It's like, where is all the cell points? There we go. Perfect. So um, what we're probably just two around this, head over here, head up there. We'll just kind of have to keep doing it. Yeah, we'll do what we got to do here. But anyhow, starting lands, this is the starting farm you have. Uh, if we go ahead and sell off that, just to keep it less confusing, we'll sell that off so you can't see that. Um, but you can buy that section there for $0. It's kind of all the extra bits. But we start off with field 25 worth $101,000. Field 6 at 112. Field 4 at 156. 9 at 143. 7 at 102. And we start off at, or we start off with this chunk of land here which is valued at 250,000. Um, so, okay, I don't know what is up with my printer. I apologize, it's normally very quiet and now it's deciding to do many different things. So anyhow, um, hopping out of there, um, let's go into this guy and take a look at what we have in the garage. So start off with two tractors. We have the John Deere 6250R and that's gonna have 300 horsepower. So that's got plenty of horsepower there. We also have the Fent 724 Vario, which is a fantastic tractor as well, 240 horsepower. So we're very fat on those. And we start off with a great combine, the Massey Ferguson Activa. And then also we have a forage harvester. Hello, we don't get that on every map. That's pretty cool. Um, continuing on anyways, we have a basic trailer. You have a uh, 7.6 meter header for your uh, combine, the Massey Ferguson, as well as you have a corn uh, sil or geez, forage harvester header. And you also have a grass and hay header there that pick those up and turn them into chaff for you moving down we have a very small plow and a cultivator so things kind of just took a dump there until we can't so you probably want to upgrade those pretty quick um then you have a direct drill uh cedar here so maybe just sell off that guy i guess if you don't need that and then you also have a uh, planter here which is pretty neat too you know always start with that. and you have the seed tank to go with it which does make sense so that's cool that you have all that i like this a lot this the new the equipment on here is very fantastic um, you also have a fertilizer spreader and a small mower. You also have a tether as well as a wind drawer, which is fantastic. And you have a roll belt. Uh, you have a front loader attachment for your John Deere as well as a couple of different front loader attachments here. The uh, fork with grapple and the bale spike there. You also have a header trailer, a John Deere weight, and that's everything. So hopping out of there, let's take a look around our starting farm here. So this is kind of like the road in. This is your driveway. So yeah, small areas here. Um, also, yeah, the zoom in here. So we do have chickens right here. Um, that's my understanding is that's what we have on this farm as well as the cows over there. Um, we should have, what is that right there? 
come on you can get it you can click it lime station um as well as a farm settlement here as well and a fuel point so plenty of stuff here here is your chicken coop here and again i'm not going to go around and guess and try to see where everything is and actually let's go in here and make it new and there we go so we can see a little bit better so i'm not going to go around and guess where all the fill triggers and everything are i mean i'm assuming this is probably food here but i'm not going to go around and guess all that so uh continuing on here here's your meter five point for chicken so i'm sure yep okay moving on over to here looks like we got our john deer there or the spreader there got some of the attachments there looks like this goes through we'll look at the other side of that here in a second i'm assuming you have a sleep trigger somewhere on here it might have been that house um oh so sometimes i do miss stuff like the sleep triggers and stuff oh there's your weight just hidden in there but uh so i apologize if i ever miss a sleep trigger or something i'm not i always i mean it's a map tour i'm, I'm gonna miss something on there that didn't have a sleep trigger um so if i do miss stuff i apologize i do like it though when you guys comment i don't think i don't think i've ever gotten a comment that's like hey you know stupid you missed this no i don't feel like i get those comments that's cool you got that outdoor light that's really sweet there uh, but i usually get people comments say hey oh did you know this no i didn't thank you for commenting so a few of you too recently have commented like more in knowledge about the area like for these ones that are based in real life areas which is really cool i usually try to pin those comments if i see really good ones so get some water in me as i'm talking a lot so huge storage here you have your cedar and your planter in there as well as your uh, seed tank um down there as well so going out here that is down to field six right here that's field six for you it looks like these are legit fields where even though they're custom grass textures which look really cool um by the way but uh it looks like you can fertilize those and do what you need to do there um so fantastic uh, moving into here here is your cows again i'm not going to play guess the cow and where you put everything in and everything like that so here it is for you if you're looking to do cows um we have equipment in there or what's that in there i just some stuff but i'm assuming these gates are probably going to open up if you need to oh maybe not yeah they do okay sweet um shelter out there looks like you got a nice bunker silo right here uh which is fantastic you don't always get that kind of stuff is there anything back here that i missed nope okay Continuing on, I don't know where this goes. This probably goes, you can almost get into that area there. I don't know if that's a bunker cell or just a bulk area, but uh, this comes up to field nine. We'll hop back down into here. This looks like a mere slurry tank here. Yep, that's what that's looking like. Looks like, definitely looks manure system already, that's for sure. Uh, moving down this way, we need to get over to that part of the farm up there, but uh, have anything over here? Just some more storage space for us. Yeah, nifty. All right, so that's kind of the cow section. Let's head up here uh, behind this stuff, kind of through that tunnel there, but we're gonna walk around and see where that tunnel ends up. We have more little storage sections here, more storage space and everything like that. This is gonna head out to field 25 for you. Um, we have another shelter here, looks like. Yes, we do indeed. And then on the other side, we have some other stuff stored here. You do have a vehicle repair trigger there. This one, they got a light on the outside. I'm seeing it, there we go. Again, I'll miss light triggers too. I always, I'm sure we'll miss light triggers on maps just because I can't find them all sometimes. So <laughs> it looks like it turns on the lights inside too. So forge header, forge harvester, the other forge header, your combine and your header trailer and all that good stuff there. Um, so moving around here, I'm not sure where this goes, but I do want to see what it is up here. Ah, so yeah, two more nice storage sections up here. That's fantastic. So yeah, lots of storage. It's multi-layered. I kind of like that. It's kind of got a nice little small farm feel for smaller equipment, stuff like that, which I, I kind of like that feel. So I know some of you are beginning to, to big maps and whatnot. Nothing wrong with that at all. I usually prefer bigger, more open maps, but uh, I mean, as you know, No Man's Land is one of my favorite <laughs> favorite maps, but here's all your grass equipment, your cultivator, your plow, all that stuff. Your other tractor is going to be parked back there, but uh but yeah, you can't knock the detail on these. These things are very well done, and it's it's awesome. It's absolutely amazing. These are fantastic. That's your silo, but oh, oh, that's the cows down there. We need to go back down there. Here's your silo down here, and then your fuel point is looking like it's going to be right here. Here's your fuel point. I was like, say, we're right on top of it. And then lime. Oh, it's probably going to be that green silo thing we saw earlier down here, I bet. Or no, it's gonna be this guy right here. Never mind. This is your lime point. <laughs> Where does this go? Oh, this just kind of goes into a center section there, and that goes out to. Oh, we, did we miss the trailer? Oh, no, we just kind of went past it. Okay. Yeah, lots of grass and different details and stuff in here for you. Move that. So that'd be kind of cool if you can move some of the stuff out of the way and clean it up. But uh, anyhow, that is up here for us. So, um, 
Now, what should we need to do here? Where is the store at? There's lots of different farms on here, as it mentioned. I'm probably not gonna, let me see if I can't find them all here. So what did it say? Eight farms, so we have one here. Two up here, that's gonna be your sheep farm. Three down here, four horses. Five, yeah, five. Nope, uh, six. What am I missing here? Oh, seven. Eight, is that eight? That can't be eight, is that eight? Oh, eight, is that eight? Did I count that one? Anyhow, so you know, there's farms around here and what have you, so um, yeah, I think what we're gonna do, since the shop is right there, I'm gonna speed us up a little bit. We're gonna run down to the shop and then we are gonna buy ourselves um, a truck at that point. Let's do that. Um, and then that's what we're, we're gonna use to drive around the map. So zoom down the driveway here. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a pretty big map. Nice and open, bigger fields out here. Looks like you can drive through the hedges maybe. Yeah, cause that one has like a fence. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there's some collisions in some places, but uh, we'll head down here. So here we have a gas station, which is awesome. You have an ATM there, which is pretty nifty. Let me tone that back down. Um, so yeah, Bessie Beneath, you have a Massey Ferguson dealer here. Fantastic. It's like your shop's going to be around back. So yeah, not huge equipment you may not be able to get out of here, but uh, most equipment, in all honesty, you can probably get out of here. Uh, shop point there. Is there anything inside? Nope. There's your shop point. Oop, flips you around. Um, these don't look like they open now. These don't. This guy looks like it might. Nope. Okay. Anyhow, you have your repair trigger right out here. So there's that for you. So if we go into the store here, I'm, of course, going to use my Farmer Cop special, special edition. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Perfect. That is where your stuff is going to spawn right there. Hop in this, and of course, the Farmer Cop Map Tours has got to come up. Thank you again, Quiet Hitman slash Kyle, however you want to call him, for getting this truck made for me a long time ago, so I do appreciate it. Sorry, getting our drink of water there. All right, let's continue on. So what we're probably going to do, I think first things first, is we dip up and take a look at this farm out here with the sheeps. The sheeps? The sheep? Sheep and sheep. Anyhow, I don't know. Words are hard. <laughs> oh man, is this a oh this is a cell point, isn't it right here? The Texaco garage is right here. Let me go into before. Yeah, so right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Texaco garage. Untag that now. It is gonna take eggs at a very high price, and that is what it takes. So cool. They got a cell point right there for you. We are in the UK, so we're gonna be on the left side of the road. So all of you United States individuals, you're going to have to deal with that. Unless you want to get in a collision, which I'm about to anyways. Oh! Traffic does not want to stop, maybe. <laughs> it's not a farmer cop video without a crash. I always say that, so pretty typical there. But uh, yeah, and this would be a good one actually for course play too, just with the fields. I mean, a lot of people don't like, they're like, oh, a little odd shaped fields and stuff. They like square fields where they can just go after it, but uh no, I mean, this is nice. It gives you, this is how real farm fields are in most places. Not every place, obviously, but most places they just kind of go with the land. Well, this looks like a, is this a separate little chunk of, no, oh, it's part of that. Interesting, got a little place where he's part of that field. Huh, I like that, kind of nifty, something a little bit different, but uh, yeah. But yeah, so, and this road's overgrown, so you could fix it up if you wanted to and whatnot, but uh no, I like the feel of this. Oh, do you own that field as well starting out? I didn't buy that. So you also own this field up here for 110. There, there you go. You got all sorts of fields on this map. Did I miss anything else? No, okay. Oh, man. Told you, I almost, I almost missed that. I mean, I'm always going to miss something on a map tour. It's just kind of inevitable. But uh, let's hop out here and take a look around. So sheep pasture here. Lights there for us, which is awesome. This stuff's all going to open up as it did on the other farms. There we go, as it doesn't open up. But uh, obviously, this is going to be empty now just because there's not any equipment on this farm. So more large storage spaces here for you. Um, looping around here. Am I missing anything? Yeah, it looks like this is pretty it's pretty small, pretty basic. Just kind of a sheep farm and a couple of barns for you. So um, yeah, very basic. But nothing wrong with that. It's a nice little start out farm for you. 
Um, I'm sure you could sell your farm and buy this one. I mean, you already have that field. This is 183 though, so uh, fairly expensive little chunk of land here, but uh, yeah, it's got sheep on there, and the sheep look like they'd be pretty easy to take care of with how they're all positioned there. So probably my guess would be wool pallets there, water there, hay and grass with food there, and then over here, the buy point is probably gonna be at that gate. But uh, anywho, we'll get out of here now, move on to the next extravaganza what is that there in their own oh, did i just get so lucky to not hit all those i think that's probably what happened but uh, you got like a little oh gosh i don't know what those are called but uh anyhow you got one of those there very long driveway up this thing that's for sure but uh yeah this so this is actually a fairly large map it looks small on the like the actual in that the map screen, but uh, it actually looks and like out driving around like it's actually a fairly large map. So it just goes to show your initial impressions can be wrong. So I think we're just gonna. I guess this doesn't loop all the way around. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter what we do first. We'll just take a left and then we will come back up and take care of the other half of the map. So moving down here, we got just a couple of different structures and buildings and what have you. Just some added detail as a little village or something there. A little triangle of grass there. But yeah, it looks like for the most part, the uh, hedges, you can drive through them, which is a good feature, I think, for a lot of people prefer that because it's just a little bit less of a headache. Driving up here, there's a farm, isn't there? Yeah. That looks like that could be a farm, too, if you wanted, really. Nope. Never mind. I mean, yeah, I guess you could use. Obviously, you can. Use, oops. Obviously, you could use that as a farm, but uh, it's part of the big area, which is free. So I guess if you wanted, it'd be a free farm for you to start out on. But <laughs> yeah, all these uh, farms have really long driveways to get up to them, which is an interesting. It's nifty. I kind of like that. Oh, we're gonna hit that gate real quick. No big deal. We'll hop out. Gates. I'm assuming gonna open. Yes, it is. Okay. So moving in here, you have some storage around there. You have a house here again. Some I don't. I swear there's got to be a sleep trigger on here, you'd think. There's got to be one somewhere. I just, I feel like that's the thing I struggle the most to find is sleep triggers on maps. But, uh, which yes, it's happened many times where I've forgotten the sleep trigger. I haven't been able to find it. So this one has a, I believe it's a fuel and lime. Yeah, so fuel here, the red box there and lime station there. Lots of storage again. You have a vehicle repair point. That gate's going to open up for you if you want. These are going to open up. You have more storage in there. We've seen that. There's the light switch over there. So um, I don't think there's anything else really exciting behind that. So um, hop back into the truck here. But uh, yeah, so after that, we'll head down here and then we'll check out the horse farm and head down and check out. So this one doesn't have any animals, right? Yeah, it does not. So we'll head down to the horse farm now and then we'll keep moving our way around the map. Yeah, overall, I think this is a great map. And I mean, regardless of whether or not it's something that's maybe your speed or not, you have to appreciate the work and the effort that a modder puts into a map. You just can't. I don't think you can. If you can, if you can do that and just ignore the hard work of a modder, I don't know how you sleep at night, in all honesty. Oh, man, I just... We didn't have FS modders. The game wouldn't be what it is today. Sure, you can like other modder stuff more than others, but still... All right, moving into here, we have our horse area that looks like a trailer that's not going to move. Um, so, yep, I don't know where everything is. That's the buy point, at least. Um, looks like you got a house down here, a nice house. That's a very nice house, very large house. <laughs> Bigger than my house, for sure. <laughs> little tunnel there, which is nifty, I like that. It's like a little pasture area here. So this can be bought for, and what does it come with? Oh, this is a different, so that section is 157. This one's 83 if you wanted to buy this little triangle or not triangle, a little arrow of land really is what it looked like. But uh, yeah, then out here you have your area to train your horses, different jumps and what have you. As I jump over one, just naturally, I guess. <laughs> then you have some storage there. So yeah, not bad. Nice little horse farm for you. If you wanted to do horses, you can. There you have it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Armor cop can't drive. He can't park. He can't do anything right. Drives his patrol car fine at work, but I guess he doesn't do it fine on here. <laughs> By the way, if you are new to the channel, I never say this, I feel like, but I probably should say it more often. Um, the reason my channel is called Farmer Cop is because I am, in fact, a full-time police officer in the United States. That's what I do full-time. 
this is what I do as kind of a hobby, but I really enjoy doing this, doing farming simulator. I mean, I play farming simulator constantly, so yeah, the only thing is different is that I'm engaging a community into it, and it's a lot more fun that way, in all honesty, so. All right, here is our next little slice of farm. Interesting little entrance here, just right off the, the corner there. This looks a little more run down, but uh, this is gonna have cows on it, is that correct? Oh, sheep, this is a sheep one. And then down around, that's the barn there. We might, well, we end up, oh, is that a, nope, I was saying, did I find another farm? No, I did not. Um, what we might end up doing is maybe just driving cross country here up to here to check out that farm and then up, and then that'll really give us a good feel for all the land too. So I don't know if that's forestry section there. We'll see if we drive up there. So anyhow, you have that there for you. You have the sheep pasture out here. And that's about everything for this one. It's very, very simplistic, if you will. Um, 130 to buy if you wanted it, so not too bad. But uh, yeah, we'll hop back in the truck here and we will take a right so we can head up to the barn cell point, which is up this way. And then we'll do a little cross country trek and see if we get in a few collisions or not. My guess would be we're gonna get in at least one or two, but uh, sometimes I get lucky. <laughs> not very often, but sometimes I do. Oh. See, there's already one and we haven't even started our cross-country trek yet. Oh, man, that's just pretty typical for me. So if you do enjoy watching crashes, this is a very enjoyable channel. So we'll hop out here. This is going to be the barn cell point right over here, right there. And the barn, oop, there we go, is going to take shocker, silage, hay, grass, and straw. And that is everything. So pretty typical barn. That silage price did look really good, though, uh, for a barn anyhow. Kind of depends on what your BGA takes, which we'll buy the BGA once we get to it, um, just to kind of take a look at um, what you would get for that. But uh, so we need to be heading, yeah, a little bit that way, a little bit more maybe. But uh, that does look like kind of like some forestry area, though, those little sections of land right here. Maybe it's just those trees there, but no, it looks like forestry. Yeah, that is a forestry chunk there. So these little guys are forestry sections if you wanted to buy them and clear them out. Just nifty. Then we're coming in the back end of this farm here. So this is like a kind of a back road up to it. We're cruising now. You just slow back down. Oh, am I going to be able to go through? No, of course not. So I'll probably need to drive through this one, but uh, that's okay. We'll do that after we take a look around it. So this one is going to have pigs. Is that right? Yes. And two fuel points, a farm silo, and a lime station. So nifty. So pigs are here. There's all your pig stuff and what have you but uh oh nice three bunker cells that's right three bunker cells yeah is that a fourth one up there take a look it kind of looks like it is this a bunker cell no it doesn't look like it but those should come up with a reading as a bunker silo if they are a bunker silo yes so these ones are bunker silos it looks like with that one up there is not so you could use it as bulk storage i'm sure or something like that Especially for uh, pigs, that's kind of helpful to store potatoes or sugar beets somewhere like that. So some shelters around. Here's your farm silo here. And then we have multiple fuel points. There's the other part of your silo there. Um, we do have a lime station somewhere in here. This looks like this might be... Nope, maybe not. Maybe that is a fuel point. That might be a fuel point there, but uh, there's one right here in case you were wondering. And then there should be a lime station. Yep, right there. So more storage there. Again, plenty of storage around this place. No issues there, and this heads back out. So we looped up and around. We're gonna do that in the truck this time. I try to keep zoomed out just so you guys can kind of see uh, some of the environment around. Um, I've been on a lot of map tours, I've been doing fly throughs just because some of them I feel like it would take too long to do, but I think this one I'm able to, I'm gonna be able to do and keep it pretty close to when I wanna get done. I normally target my map tours, try to keep them around 30 minutes long or less. Um, just because just I want to be conscious of people's time. It is a, a lot of commitment to watch a 30 minute video as it is, but to watch an hour video on a map you may or may not play on seems like a huge deal. So I try to honor your guys' time as much as possible and get you guys what you need, but still be high quality about it. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for. I hope that's what you guys are getting out of it. But uh, yeah, and of course there's my regular old goofy craziness anyhow. But uh, so here it looks like we got most of our cell points and then we'll head down and we got our farm area there. Um, yeah, it looks like there's just a dirt road down to those cell points there. Looks like it. Then we have a farm, our final farm. Yeah, we'll just get there and we'll talk about it. Where's the BGA at? I missed that. Oh, it's down there. Okay. The BGA is going to be 69000 to buy, so we're going to need a little bit more cash to buy that. 
Perfect. And if we go into here, that car's going to get angry at me, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and buy that. Yes. So that should have the BJ pop up in here now. Yes. Perfect. And I just saw that silage price on there. We're going to look at it again in a minute, but holy cow. So if you saw it, you were probably thinking the same thing. Oh, man. Okay. Anyhow, we'll hop out here. Gates open. It's not like an automatic thing. Uh, wool cell point. This is probably the spinnery right here. Yes, yeah, spinnery. So spinnery's right there. We'll look at all these in a second. Over here we have Ron High Lanes. Green. I love that light. I wonder if it goes red ever. That's pretty cool. And then uh, over here we have another cell point. Looks like this is a sawmill. Yeah, the sawmill's up over here. So um, it's like our log cell points there. And then wood chips is probably over here. Yeah, this would be wood chips right here for us. Um, We'll look at the animal deer in a second. So um, the Ron High Lanes is going to take your wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, uh, sugar beets, and potatoes, as well as sugar cane, eggs, milk, and that's everything. The sawmill should take, I'm going to guess, yep, wood chips. Perfect. It does take wood chips. The spinnery is going to take your cotton and your wool. So pretty typical there. It looked like a pretty bad price for... Uh, Wool looked like it was like 800 bucks per 1,000 liter. So maybe not a great price right now, but uh, it's a price. And back here we have your animal. Yes, perfect. There's the animal dealer right there. Can we hop that fence? Nope, that's okay. We'll just do this. It's just a little bit quicker. Perfect. All right, we will continue on our tour here. We'll head down to the last farm, and then we'll look at the last of our cell points, including the BGA. And then I think we'll wrap up the tour. So this might be just over 30 minutes. But hey, we got a nice tour of the English countryside or the countryside of the uk i don't they're probably not interchangeable this is interchangeable i have been to great britain before or england however you want to put it i'm not sure if one's politically correct or not or what the case may be with that but uh beautiful area beautiful area love it i love traveling i love i love going different places so um in here we have is this what is this pigs over here oh cows We're back to cows cows over here so it looks like it's a similar setup but not the same um, before I say anything crazy, there's a fuel point right there. More storage. Storage. Is this a... This is not a bunker silo. So, milk tanks there, looks like. Storage for vehicles. Plenty of storage on this map again. Um, this looks like a bunker silo. This is a bunker silo there. Perfect. All right. And then continuing on down here. Let's see. Is there anything else I missed? More storage more storage. I don't think I missed anything else past that. If I did, I apologize. Let me know down in the comments so I can know for future reference. Because my guess is whenever or if ever they release a new FS game, which I'm sure they will. It's kind of like one of those things like some people are like, I don't know if they're ever going to release a new one. They're probably going to release a new one. The reason being they make money when they release a new one. It just is how it, the world works. Oh, that's the edge of the map right there. How do we get to that cell point down there? That's the edge of the map, or a collit. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Um, strange. It looks like that's like a road right there. Okay, and then this comes down. Oh, okay, so you just gotta follow the correct. Oh, there's a gate. I was like, did we run into something else? No, we just well, we did. We ran into a gate, but not like a map collision. Okay, so right here we have. Oh, jeez, get down here. Calendra grains or calendar grains. Over here we have the BGA, so you have two bunker silos, you have a digester there. I'm not sure if you, you probably, probably have to tip stuff up into there. And then you have your digestate storage there. And then over here, of course not. Um, we'll just jump to it. Over here, here we are. This is the Kalindra Dairies. So in here we have the dairy sure We'll look at that first. It's going to take milk. That's everything. The grains is going to take wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, uh, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, and that's everything. The BGA is going to take silage at an enormous rate. Um, it's also going to take um, grass and hay at a decent rate. Actually, that's a really good rate for those two as well. And holy cow, manure and slurry at that rate. Wow. I want to play on this map just for those prices. Goodness gracious. So lots of good prices on here. But uh, yeah, that's everything. So I think we got everything in. Yeah, so I think the, the road is this right here. I should have taken, 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 taken that road, not taken. Shouldn't have taken anything. Should have taken it. 
anyhow that has been this this farmer cop map tour looks like we're going to finish up just around 30 minutes so fantastic all right if you guys enjoyed drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the channel um turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and leave me a comment down below if i missed anything if you know anything about this area if you're from the uk let me know down in the comments i'm happy i love learning about other areas so anyhow guys this has been farmer cop thank you for coming and watching